All right, so this is hot off of Computex, and it's funny. I was writing out a very long script while uh, watching the AMD conference there, and honestly, I don't think I need to. I don't think I need to because I know what my overall point is by the end. I wasn't sure at first, but I know where this is going by the end. And that said, AMD is the new Intel. That is what this video is about. AMD is the new Intel. They are the new technology leader. Bow down to the new hegemony. And before I continue, I want to be clear about something. The point of this video is putting everything into focus into how bad this could have been. Because AMD was planning. They thought Intel would be. They really thought four years ago, which is how long at least, at least it takes to plan out your roadmap. They thought Intel would be on frankly, seven nanometer uh, past Ice Lake and Tiger Lake by now. They did. They thought 2018, I believe, was Ice Lake. It's 2019, and we're on nothing lake, if you ask me. And so AMD could have crushed them uh, really hard, and they were planning for a 16-core at 5 gigahertz. And trust me, those exist. I know they exist. And if you don't believe me, I don't know what to do with you. I, I'm telling you, I, have, I know that... Trust me, I know they exist. And, but no one saw the security flaws coming. No one saw that coming. And no one thought, not even AMD, not probably even half of the employees at Intel saw it coming. Intel's complete stagnation. So let's put into perspective what's happening here. AMD is about to sell the 3900X for less than half the price of the 9920X, a processor that costs substantially more, substantially, over double the cost. Anyone complaining about there not being a $500 16-core needs to think about that. It's the same as the 1800X. Some people were like, the 1800X could have been cheaper. Why? It was cheaper than Intel's entire HEDT lineup and destroyed it. This 12-core will destroy Intel's entire lineup. AMD is the new Intel. AMD is about to release a lineup that probably beats almost all of Intel's HEDT lineup. And what's, what's starting to scare me, though, and I'm going to put my notes down. What's starting to scare me is that this isn't the best they can do, clearly. And here's why. They are clearly, like I've said, in video after video after video, launching Epic chips to more people than they could have ever imagined. And that's because of the security issues, but also because their performance is over twice as good as Intel's now. These server people really care about efficiency. And efficiency is what they're about to get with AMD. And above efficiency, there's only one thing, and that's security. And Intel doesn't have that unless you turn off hyper-threading, which cuts the performance in half again. It would be like telling someone, no, you should still keep buying our i5s, even though now they're as powerful as i3s, uh, even though the competition is uh, selling i9s for the same price. That's what's about to happen, people. That's how bad this is. I re at the very end of the press conference, Lisa C was there, and I'm like, oh my god, are they not even going to announce a 12-core? And then she did, and everyone lost their minds. And I did too, because I thought that was a perfect bait-and-switch. I thought it was pretty funny, to be honest. And honestly, that 12-core is much more than Intel would have ever given us. And this is the final point I want to make here about the processors. The final point is this. Would Intel be giving you any of this if it wasn't for AMD? No. And if you say, I'm so pissed AMD is not launching a 16 core for $500. Okay, then don't get it. AMD doesn't give a shit anymore. They're done. They gave you guys so many chances. And some of it was their fault for sure, but it's over. And what are they offering? Well, they're 8-core for half the price of the 9900K. Half the price already beats the 9900K. For 50% more money than that, they're going to add even more performance and 50% more cores. Is that really a ripoff, people? No. 
AMD is doubling price performance this year. They are doubling price performance. And if you don't reward them, it doesn't matter because I fucking will because I've been waiting for this. I've been waiting for more than eight cores. I don't care about eight cores. There's been eight core processors since I've been in PC gaming. I don't care. What I care about is a 12 core for less than a thousand and it's going to be less than five hundred dollars and using a hundred watts that's insane that's less energy than the 9900k this is a doubling of price performance and at least a doubling in efficiency and they're not even increasing their prices from the 1800x the 1800x wiped the floor at the hedt lineup it's over it is over amd is the new intel and the sad thing is i made a video about how I hope AMD milks the market for a few years, and we're seeing the start of that, certainly, right? And this is how they keep Threadripper alive, by the way, by stopping at 12 cores. They are milking. They're milking now, and it's worrying me, though, not because AMD's milking, because I didn't think they'd get to milk this soon. I am really worried about Intel. The rumor is they're about to launch a 5 gigahertz all-core turbo i9 with 8 cores. That's... <laughs> probably still not gonna beat it's probably still not gonna beat the 95 watt eight core from amd that's stronger guys that's a third the performance per watt this is what i keep saying about people complaining about radeon it's like radeon is not even half the performance per watt and pile driver was half the performance per watt and we're looking at a third for intel this is worse than bulldozer this is worse than bulldozer yeah, I'm buying this AMD processor because it's over twice as good as anything I've ever seen for the year. But I'm worried about Intel's ability com to compete because they could release a Zen 2 Plus if they wanted to. And now just from common sense point of view, I think they will because they don't need to release Zen 3, guys. They don't need to. I think they're going to release a Zen 2 Plus now. 16 cores, 5 gigahertz next year. <laughs> and that's going to be, again right at least 50 percent more performance than what they have now and anyone who complains it's like they're still increasing performance 50 percent year over year that's much more than intel's done it intel's 3x behind and then zen 3 comes out three threads per core according to jim it could even be 10 20 cores uh on desktop as well if they want to they probably don't care anymore i'm worried about intel i'm really worried about intel because AMD is the new Intel, and Intel isn't even the new AMD. Intel seems to be the new VIA. Moving on, the last thing I'll say, and this is super short, is Navi. We didn't learn anything, guys. What did they show? They showed like a weird, obscure PCI 4.0 benchmark. Okay. They showed a 5700. That doesn't mean there's a 5800. NVIDIA did a ninja move where they tried to patent the 80 series, which... It's really depressing if that works, but it might, honestly. And, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what AMD is doing with Navi. Uh, what I heard is a 50% increase in performance per watt. So think about it. 50% more than Vega 64. Okay, well, my Radeon 7 is 30% stronger, so they're going to be 10 to 20% stronger than that, probably. Yeah, that sounds like the leak I already released. Yeah, honestly, I don't think we've learned anything new about Navi, except it might be 10% better than my leak, which is pretty cool, right? Yeah, and they talked about Vega for a while too, thus saying no Vega stain for compute, so that's what I have my Vega for. And Navi's, I'd say Navi's probably going to compete with the 2080 at this point though. AMD's the new Intel, guys. Yeah, that's the end of this video. It wasn't well thought out or organized, Hopefully I covered everything you wanted me to cover. But if you were to watch one video that was talking about, you know, what happened at Computex, what was AMD doing? I think this is it. They're the new Intel. People will be who are really informed like me or adored might be a, or, or good old gamer or Paul at not an Apple fan might be depressed about no 16 cores for five hundred dollars. But number th that's true, but number three is this is a doubling of performance, a doubling of performance per watt, even with just 12 cores. So who cares? And number four is I'm worried about Intel long term. Number five is Navi slightly better than we thought, but I'm not sure it's actually that much better. So yeah.
that's what happened at Computex. Please subscribe to my Patreon, like my video, share this. Sharing it helps so much. Honestly, I'm tracking it. You guys sharing my recent videos, that's what's allowing me to gain new subscribers. Peace. Thank you.